freaking student. Welcome. Oh, this is the new version? <laughs> he did the rise of the shuriken. Lord Speed, shout out Speed Force, and today we're reacting to. I, I hate when I do this, okay? I hate when I do reactions. <clears throat> I hate when I'm doing a reaction to something and I forget the title of the video. But basically, this is Koya Tension animated by Adamatics. Um, the reason why I found out about this guy is because during one of Koya's return videos that he did after those long breaks that he does, <laughs> when he stops uploading, uh, he saw. Uh, he mentioned someone animated him, and uh, then I went on to w subscribe to the guy. The guy ended up doing I Am Dante and Brubizi, uh animations, which I'll be doing in a future reaction. I already did watch it, but I want to show you, well, tell you guys what I think about it. The guy is really talented. I love the animations that he does. But basically, he went back through and remastered his Koi S. Kenshin one. I never got to watch that. Uh, I'm subscribed to so many people on YouTube and I have so much other stuff to do outside of YouTube So I don't get to watch every single piece of content of the youtubers that I like that's like everybody else so, so, Yeah, on your, way out, on your way out like you're about to leave While you're here shut the like button share and subscribe because you got previous videos on the channel check a chance to subscribe to and, uh, yeah, we're about to watch this reaction. It's Quares Kitchen Animated. It's like they're, like, entering Super Smash Bros. I never played it, but, uh, yeah. We're about to hop straight on in, and let's see what this is about. Welcome. Dang, that, like, destroyed my ears. Welcome. Oh, this is the new version? He did the Rise of the Shuriken. I am the Chosen! Okay, I add this song actually in the editing. Okay, note, the base skin and some other compatible skins can be customized even further by changing the hat, earpiece, glasses, sword, and clothes. Ooh! So he's like designing it like he's actually getting added as DLC, that's nice. Okay, okay. So the different costumes, uh, I'm just going to watch the video and I'll go back through and tell you guys how I know the which costumes are which. <laughs> this is nice, God, Lee. I wonder if Corey watched this, probably. Ooh, the Spider Man one, okay. Corey, yeah, perfect. Corey, let's go. I, I remember the animation, bro. <laughs> that was 2020, that was three years ago, that's crazy. That's cool how the guy was able to like replicate other people's animation art style. Man, this guy must be like a a Koya's Ketchup fan, because he has like all the outfits that like this dude's worn like across you know, so many different series. Got the Minecraft, that's nice. When's Corey going to finish that off? The Baddington. Oh, I forgot Baddington made for Spooky Scary Sunday. I forgot. I like how, like, the weapons changing for him, because, like, when he was Goku, he had the power pole. That was cool. Ooh, this, this is this is clean. He has like so many. He's still going Edward Norton. That's how spooky the spooky scary Sunday lore. Shirtless. During the Resident Evil 2 playthrough. Outro 2019. Man, that that that's nostalgic. And this one too. Kelsey. Ah, that's from his skits back in the day. OG. Okay, okay. Alternate dialogue. Welcome. 
right then. I don't know where my shotgun at, but I got my katana. You don't want to mess with this steel, baby. I cut your butthole in half. Whoa. How you pooping double. That's crazy. All right. Up, down, up, down. You sit I... down and you put in the timing. You don't do it. He put a lot of work into this. I actually, I really like this. Zoom in, zoom in on me. Do you see my eyes? <laughs> Man, it gives you want to watch some Corey's Ketchup videos. Hey, 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 What are we talking about here? It's giving, it's giving, <laughs> it's giving. sexual harassment. Oh my God, I hate it's giving. Um, I hate, I hate it so much. I hate it so much. I'm glad people don't say it that much anymore. I hate it. I hate it. Now I gotta pull up. I know Corey was just Everybody joking. dying, me included. <laughs> I ain't going to jail. Bro, he's put he's putting his uh the person fighting him into a trance. If you start putting limits on yourself, oh, I'm too old. Oh, I can't do this. Yo, oh, this smarter than me. In my headphones is crazy. So <laughs> so <laughs> if that's where you want to stay that's where you're gonna stay but the only person who has control of you and what you do is you our plans are going to have deviations sometimes sometimes things ain't gonna work out the way that you want them to okay I'm gonna, like, I know that was supposed to be, like, inspirational, but it's supposed to be, like, for a fight he gave, so, like, he said that to you in the beginning, so, like, <laughs> in the, if you're taking the context of, like, him being at his DLC, like, just for this video as a joke, it's like, <laughs> he's giving you a talk before he's about to beat you down or even, like, just Mortal Kombat, kill you. <laughs> I, I don't know, I just thought that was, I don't know why that's so funny to me, like, doing the, the speech, talking no quotations before you fight someone. And that is perfectly fine, so long as you do not give up. <laughs> I don't know. It's so funny. As long as I keep pushing. Well, the guy's really good at animation. Like, he's really good. And art. Bonus round. What does bonus round mean? Is there something in there that weren't... That he didn't show? Bro, I'm looking. Bro, I, I was about to have epilepsy. What the heck? Cause my name is Korean Chin. Yo, imagine if Corey did that in his new intro. Well, not intro. He doesn't yep. do an intro. He doesn't like. But now it's time for me to go back through. So much of a samurai that I am. You know what I'm saying? Nice. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, this is classic Corey, you know, goes to Tsushima outfit, got the headband, got the robe, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and then we got this Corey. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what he looked like when he was in, no, because when he was in college, he had long hair, right? I honestly don't know when this is from, like, what era. But I remember this. This is when Corey came back the one time he had the braids falling out of the hat. That was, like, so weird for me, because, like, I knew Corey as Mr. Afro Man. You know what I mean? And he came back with the braids. Like, I don't like people with braids. Huh? I'm just kidding. I have braids in right now, but it actually looked good. It took a little bit for me to adjust to, because again, I knew him as Mr. Afro Man, like the entire time I watched him since 2015. And uh, yeah, but then we got this Corey. Uh, honestly, I don't know what this is from. I don't know if it's just like a normal outfit or I don't know, but we got this Corey. This looks like a like a younger version of Corey with the red hoodie. I'm pretty sure it's from his older videos. But yeah, this is the Corey I'm thinking of for like college. He used to, uh, I wanted to say iron. What the heck? He used to have his hair straight. So I already knew that. And this Corey, I think he wore this. Was it during that spider video with like the, he had to kill the spiders around the house or something? 
I, that's that's the vibe I'm getting from it. Like that's what my memory is like going to. I don't know why, but I, I remember him wearing a bonnet in one of the videos. I'm pretty sure that's from Cooking with Kenshin, but like the older ones, like old older ones. He hasn't done Cooking with Kenshin in a long time, so I know they're old. But Spider Man, I don't know if that's the exact outfit he wore because that looks like the Homecoming outfit. But he wore a Spider Man outfit during in the beginning of uh, his Spider Man PS4 playthrough that he never finished. I shouldn't be talking though. I, I started a Spider Man PS4 playthrough and then deleted the video and then re-uploaded it on my re-upload channel. Please stop this madness. So I just kind of like made it seem like I never started it, but I'll get to. I'll get to a core. That was like during the one game where like he's playing. He was playing a game where it was like real people, and you get to choose how you confront and talk to people ah! and women specifically. And, uh, yeah, he wore this outfit, you know, Super Seducer. And this is obviously from the animations, it says it at the bottom. Uh, Sonic, the good vibe check, you know, that, that, the good, good vibe check. I, I don't know why, like, I, like, it's crazy to think that, that like, where did the three years go? Like, if, if this is accurate, it's 2020, like, that's just, that's just so crazy to me. But, yeah, it was, it was a really fun video. He wasn't even really gaming, he was just, like... I guess spreading good vibes. It, it was it was a good video, and I like I like the Sonic outfit. I like the little. He was playing like a weird, weird version of Sonic, demented. I guess uh, that was him during the 2K video. Uh, he didn't do like an entire My Career playthrough, but he did uh, play 2K during one of his videos. Baldi's Basics animation. I, I love how because I love as a, you know a younger kid. I loved Corey's gaming, but I also loved when he would upload people doing animation to him. And I love that this guy, Adamatics, I'm hoping I'm saying the name correctly, was able to like redo their animation and like their art style to put them as skins in here. I thought that was really cool. Uh, here, that's from Streets of Rage 4. He only did one video on it. I plan on actually doing a Streets of Rage uh, playthrough on the series. On playthrough on the series, playthrough on the channel. I don't have the first three. I don't have the fourth one either. But I'm pretty sure there's like a Sega collection on the PlayStation I could get that has the first three. So I'm planning on doing a Streets of Rage little beat 'em up playthrough. It should be fun. Uh, cause I love Streets of Rage. I grew up with Streets of Rage, even though I'm not as old as some of these uh, old people. But uh, my mom had me growing up on the old systems and old older games. So. Yeah, it was it was pretty cool. It's a pretty cool game. Axel doesn't really have anything on Ryu though. I'm not. I'm just gonna say it. Like he doesn't have anything on Ryu, but it's fine. It's fine. Man, that's Corey dressing up as Axel. A little Axel cosplay. This is from Injustice Two and dressing up as Superman. Uh, which he promised that he would do an alternate ending to Injustice Two. He never did. Sad to see. Uh, and then we got the Bruce Lee collab. You know, he dressed up as this when he announced the merch line. Uh. Minecraft, he was doing a Minecraft playthrough. He even tweeted out that there was going to be a Minecraft video coming out soon. That's when I still had Twitter. It never came out. Where's it at, Corey? Where's it at? He even got a little avatar a Minecraft person made for him. Which I thought it was really cool that the guy was able to do that. But yeah, I like it. And then we got Corey's for his, uh, his birthday. You know, he was dancing with the wine bottle. You know what I'm saying? That, like, that video doesn't even feel like it was that long ago. Like, him smacking the mannequin and stuff. <laughs> Dancing with the, the the juice, I guess I would say, because he wasn't drinking. But, yeah. It feel, it doesn't feel like it was that long ago, but 2021. It's almost, it's almost full two years. Uh, Baddington. Baddington made a video, like, thanking Corey, I guess, for all the help and support that he did for during the Spooky Series Sunday series. Thought that was cool. Uh, another animation, Cuphead, uh, another playthrough that Corey did. I'm gonna be honest, I really didn't, I, like, I watched the Cuphead series, I just really don't remember it, because it was, like, my little brother watched Cuphead, this Cuphead series, and I was, like, in and out of the room and stuff, and, like, not really paying as much attention while he was watching it, because, like, I never really was interested in Cuphead. Saw the Netflix original little cartoon series, I'm interested in Cuphead now. I'm not gonna watch a playthrough, because I do plan on eventually buying the game, Buying the DLC and doing a playthrough on the channel. So, uh, so it's surprising. And so I don't know exactly what's going on. I'm just going to wait to watch Corey, re watch Corey X Fentions playthrough. 
We got Goku, he did Dragon Ball Fighters and Jump Force. You know, he just played. Jump Force and Dragon Ball Fighters, those, both of those videos were just like him, like, I guess, testing out the game, seeing how it was on his, uh, not testing out the game, but like just playing, getting like a feel of it on the channel. But uh, he didn't end up moving forward with either of those games, like doing playthroughs of it. He did do, he started the Jump Force story mode, to be honest, I understand why he would stop. Because uh, you have like a you have like a, a fan base and people to entertain. And the Jump Force uh, <laughs> story is just wonky. And so are the cutscenes. I'm still going to try and do a playthrough eventually. I don't know how, like I really want to play Dragon Ball Fighters and Jump Force on the channel. It's just that uh, Bandai or whatever uh, company, like Japanese company, is stopping me. They're stopping me from screen recording the game, uh, which doesn't make sense to me because I, I bought the game, so I should be able to do whatever I want with the games, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, I can't screen record them and make a playthrough. I would have been already completed Dragon Ball Fighters on the channel if I could have. And we have Samurai Corny, that one we're in. And yeah, the merch. Uh, not as familiar with this one, of course, I saw it because Corey announced his merch in videos. Which I think is like the best way, because there's like some YouTubers just like check out the merch in the description. Like you better make a whole video describing the merch, how to hype up that merch, so I buy it. I mean, Corey does a good job doing it, like hyping up the merch. I still don't buy it though. Wait a damn minute. That's not even like shooting shots or disrespectful. I just like I don't buy clothes. Wait a damn minute. I buy collectibles. You know what I'm saying? I don't buy clothes. I don't even buy food. And we got Edward Norton, you know. Uh, I I know this as like more Bambi Killer '69, you know what I'm saying? But you know, it, it's Edward Norton, I guess. Shirtless Corey. I don't know if there's like a specific video that Corey just walked in shirtless and filmed the video, but uh, I remember him doing this during the Resident Evil 2 playthrough with the hard. Uh, was it? What was the guy's name from Resident Evil 2? Forget the dude. Was it the Mr. X boss fight or the the other dude, the doctor? I forget which one, but there was a boss fight at the end of the game where he was like sort of screaming. Uh, the outro, you know, 2019 till now. But this one, this is the outro that I remember the most. Like not the most. Like remember the most from my like childhood of watching Corey. You know what I mean? Uh, but of course, I saw more videos of this outro with that guy. Uh, then we got Corey. He used to do skits. He's actually kind of under fire for some of the skits with this uh, character, but you know it's a character that he did in the past. And then uh, this is, I'm pretty sure, Corey when he was in high school. So yeah, this is just a really good animation. I it's hard to commentate over like stuff like this because it's not like hype and uh, like people are getting beat up or like people are getting roasted. It's just like really, it's just really good to like react to something differently and. I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Again, if you didn't really uh, like it, and the original video and channel will always be down in the description. You can watch the video by itself without me, my face cam in the corner. You know what I'm saying? But uh, hope you guys are ready for the next video. I honestly don't know what it is. I record so many videos, and I just like later choose like which one I'm gonna upload today. You know what I mean? Uh, or you have to forget to strike the like button, share, and subscribe. Because you got previous videos on the channel. Check the channel to subscribe to, and I'll see you guys in the next one.